زين مفترض بدا ريكوردينج بدا ولا ما بدا يس ناو ستارتد ريكوردينج اوكي جريت سو جاست كونتينيو اون ذا ايدياز ذات وي هاد سو ذس از وات وي هاف تيكن لاست تايم سوري فور ذا اذرز ذات هاد نوت بين ان وي جاست ستارتد اكسبلينينج ذا كواليتي اشورنس بارت اوكي وي ستارتد اكسبلين ذا كواليتي اشورنس بارت and uh, and we we just said that the approach that is being taken in quality assurance which is different from inspection and quality control is prevention <clears throat> prevention means what you have a problem if you have a problem what what do you do you solve it right if you solve it that is the level of inspection and quality control however if you prevent it that means before it occurs before it really occurs that is the mindset of the quality assurance person he tries to maintain everything inside the organization and outside the organization so that he or she always maintains what that there's no problems at all and 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 the mindset in the mindset of this person is that he has everything in quality everything in quality that means they consider time they need to deliver things on time they need to have everything per specifications very clearly uh, talking about that uh, i just give an example of a contractor uh, yani, uh, an example of the contractor that he need to deliver uh, uh, not deliver to build a home or ikea it was the example of ikea within 12 months and he managed to deliver that instead of 12 months 8 months why uh, the reason of that because uh he he had a penalty <laughs> after the 12 months so he need to protect himself not to pay more but it's not only that the question is that how did he maintain to deliver everything in eight months you're talking about ikea that big building how can he make it within eight months uh so uh, the the answer to that is coordination coordination if we have good coordination everything is perfect my coordination means what means that he has very good connection to the supplier he has very good connection uh the supplier is not only one supplier you're talking about tiles you're talking about cement you're talking about bricks you're talking about steel uh, you're talking about many many different suppliers and and if you think of a moment when he built a home uh, when he built a house Uh, uh, this house you should consider that well you, you need to put the brick uh, uh, the, the steel at the beginning uh, which are the foundation and then you need to have bricks and then you need to have i can't remember exactly any you, you still need the beams yeah the big beams uh, and after the beams uh, yani for example i would just shift and jump you need to start painting Uh, and after painting uh, you need to put the tiles uh, you cannot put the i uh, which one is before the tiles or the painting i think the tiles is before uh, and then you put the painting the painting is the last thing to do it's the last thing to do why because if you put the tiles later all your painting will go uh, will go dusty and, and 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 it's going to get affected what i'm trying to say is that uh, when you're building home you just cannot say that i will do everything together in one moment you need to build it step by step and you need to be in connection with the supplier step by step so if you tell the supplier please come to me in 15th uh, of march why because by 12 by 12th of march I would be had finished my job of painting yeah. so please come on 15th of march to, to deliver the other products or 12th of march i will be finishing the tiling so please come 15th of march for painting so so uh, uh, th- this is the thing that you can see here that uh, uh, where you can uh, in sequence you can see everything is in sequence now imagine that this supplier who is responsible for the tiling did not finish his job and then he went to the other supplier who should have started his job in 15th of march 
but the other supplier can cannot start his job in 15th of March because the person who should stop, finish in 12th of March, who is tiling, who is gashi, and he did not finish, and he only finished by, for example, 30th of March. The person who should have started in 15th of March and finish by 30th of March, he has another job to do at 30th of March, and because he has another job, he's he's busy. And he cannot deliver. Now imagine, because of one delay, you have another delay, and you could have other other delays with other suppliers. So how much coordination you need to quality assure that you have the right service and product? There's a lot, a lot of coordination, and this is why I said that you will not have this coordination in place only if you have inbuilt quality. Okay, so you just all you you already got the example now. How how do you need how much uh, coordination you need? Okay, if you go back, of course, to quality control and inspection, it it, it did not require to have this level of coordination, right? The the level of coordination that you needed was minimal. Uh, actually, you did not need to do any kind of coordination because. Uh, your quality control, you're looking only at the internal processes and inspection, you're only looking at your own product. So definitely there's no coordination there. Hello, uh, now talking about priority, priority, we said the priority is to have the same product, right? And all of them is the same. You always want the same product. So it is called steady quality. So here, quality control, you also want a steady quality, less need for inspection. And why we need less need of inspection? Because now we are more confident uh, because we are controlling the different internal processes that our product will always have the right specifications. What about quality assurance? Quality assurance, now through quality assurance, the priority is what? The priority is not only to have the same product, but is to anticipate quality assurance in the whole supply chain. And when we talk about the whole supply chain, that means I'm not only talking about, it's, it's the same thing, I'm explaining myself again, but uh, it's, it's part of it. So I'm talking about the supplier, and then I'm talking about myself, right? I'm talking about the company, and I'm talking about the retailer or seller. Uh, uh, here I also have the 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 the, the legislation part that I also need to be contact. I need to be in contact with the Ministry of Works. I also need to be contacting the Ministry of Electricity, Electrical Authority, EWA. And, and imagine, imagine the, the, the supply chain that I have here, the whole chain. This whole supply chain, which needs coordination, now, if I come to the priority part, my priority is to have the whole chain under quality, very well coordinated, very well known, uh, very well connected. Uh, if you go back to quality control, this was not of my concern at all. <laughs> it was not of my concern. If you go to inspection, that was also out of the mind because we only look at the product at the inspection level, quality control, we now we also well, now we control the internal processes quality assurance now we control and assure the whole supply chain and instead of talking about sampling of course we're still going to be using sampling but here we are talking about now zero tolerance we don't tolerate to have any error in every any part of the supply chain at all and now instead of looking at one department, the responsibility is only one department looking at the product or more departments looking at other internal processes. Now we have every department, every department. That means within your organization and even outside the organization to look at the quality of what? To look at the quality of the product. Now, uh, continuing on, the quality management part. OK, now continuing on the quality management part, uh, which is the final part we're going to take today. The quality management, that's the one. Uh, let me remove the, 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 
the pen because it's becoming very crowdy. OK, I think so. Now it's, it looks better. OK, and that's the quality management part. Let me use another color. Uh, I'll use the green now. OK. So the quality management part. Yeah, as like, <laughs> OK, green. Now that's better. OK, so uh, con continuing on. So we have the quality management part, which started from the 1980s. And what is the difference between quality management and quality assurance? Uh, more alike, if I would say, uh, the quality management shifted from its way of thinking, rather than looking at the uh, everything, very similar to the supply chain, the whole supply chain, very good coordination. Now the quality management is more about planning and having a strategic goal. OK, planning and strategic strategic goals. Planning and strategic goals, what does it mean? It means that it's not ab about that I want to produce a burger uh, that is to, what, to the quality. It is more about that I need to produce 1000 burgers per day because I want to make a profit of uh, 2000 BD per day, okay, uh, or income. Now it's not a profit, I should say income. So it's going to make, for example, a 2000 BD uh, dinars per day as an income. And uh, this is for the first three months. And the other three months from March to June, I'm going to increase my product, which means I need to do more marketing so that I can increase my product to be. 3,000 dinars per day. And in, in, in from June, because we are going to start the, the summer vacation, I'm expecting to increase my product from uh, 3,000 till 4,000 per day. So I will easy, even put more money into marketing and that uh, from June to September. What I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to explain to you, I'm trying to explain to you the planning part, the strategic goal. I'm planning, I'm putting a goal. Uh, what difference it makes? Uh, it, it, it makes a lot of difference because before we only want to produce the same product. That's all with inspection and quality control. And then we said, La, we don't only want the same product. We want the same product, yes, but we want everyone, every department to do its job correctly because we discovered that if every department does the job correctly, we have no errors. If we only put our eye on the product, we will have errors. OK, why? Because maybe I'm not con I'm, I didn't do anything about training the, uh, the, the, fa the staff members or I didn't do anything about uh, maintaining, which is a uh, Sayana maintenance. I'm maintaining the equipment. I didn't do any. And uh, if you just think of it, oh my God, you didn't do any maintenance. Definitely, your equipment will not be working well. I I didn't do any kind of cleaning. And you, you know the reverse osmosis plants, for example, for the desalination of water. Uh, what do you have there? Uh, if you think of it, they have something called uh, after producing the water. They have something called backwashing, uh, or sometimes they use chemicals to clean up, up the algae or, or to backwash some kind of uh, salt, concentrated salt within the reverse osmosis units. And what I'm trying to say here is that everything needs maintenance. OK, everything needs maintenance. And, and imagine that your maintenance is not part of your plan. That's a problem. So going back, quality management, quality management, we need to do what? We need to have some strategic goals and plan. So that is the approach. So it's not only problem solving. It's not only a prevention that you don't want the problem to occur. Now you are planning even to produce more, to do better. So your mindset, instead of thinking of where where's the problem, which is the inspection part, you're opening your eyes. Where is the problem in this product? Or your quality controlling where you, on, you don't only look at the product, you look at the product, you warm around, you, lo you look at the staff members, how they are working, uh, for example. Yani currently, for example, I'm, I'm in the hospital now, right? So 
if I was the uh, if I was the responsible person for quality management system, so I would look at the nurses. How do how are they operating? How they are talking to each other? How they are dealing with the patient? Uh, if the patient calls them, how much time they take to uh, come to the patient? Uh, is is there anything also to do with the luxury? It's not luxury, but uh, the, the 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 psychological part of the patient, where he has some kind of entertainment, he has someone smiling to him, uh, or uh, he doesn't have that. Uh, so what I'm trying to say here, I'm trying to reflect that uh, if it was only problem solving, is the patient good or not? He he looks good, halas. Uh, that is the inspection and quality control. Uh, that's the inspection part. Quality control is not only looking at the patient, but looking at the nurses and other staff members. Quality assurance uh, looks at not only the patient and the nurses, but they also look at all the other departments. That means, uh, is the oxygen level? Uh, do you have ox to provide oxygen? So, because you, you just imagine that the oxygen is off and there's no oxygen at all for the patients if they need them. Uh, or are all the equipment available or the gloves are available? So there's a lot of coordination. There is a lot of coordination. Now, talking about quality management, and that is a higher level, which is a strategic level. Quality management means that uh, how many patients do we have per day? How many patients are happy? Uh, how many patients are left without uh, a bed? How many per, uh, patients uh, uh, came to us and we were managed uh, to shift them to, to uh, uh, from an ill condition to a healthy condition? How many patients we managed to do that? Or we are failing with, with, mo with many of them. Uh, as, as our efficiency is 90% or not. Strategically, I want to increase, for example, my efficiency from 80% till 85%. I don't want to have uh, patient loss. Uh, from every 100 uh, patients, I only want to have one loss, for example. Uh, so what I'm trying to say here is all about strategic tool, strategic impact. It's all about planning. Uh, great, great. So, so I'm just giving you different examples, sometimes with the product, sometimes with the service. Uh, so these are all types of things that can come to uh, your mind. Because when I talk about quality, I'm not only talking about quality of the product, but it also could be quality of a service. Uh, so my mindset is now to manage the whole quality systems, quality management. My priority, okay, now we come to the, to the, to the real difference. Uh, and that became like a motto, shi'ar. It's been mentioned by many people. When, where when they talk about the priority before 100 years ago, the priority was mainly the same product. We want to produce the same product, uh, the best burger, right? Uh, but now we are talking about, no, is the customer happy or not? So we are talking mainly about the customer needs, the customer satisfaction. Because even if you have the best burger, but you don't have the satisfaction of the customer, uh, you will not sell the burger, right? Uh, so it's it's all about customer needs. So maybe the need that he wants a variety of burgers, maybe the need that he wants a variety of sauces, maybe the need is that uh, he wants a tasty burger, <laughs> okay? Maybe he wants a burger that is of a, any, uh, of a certain size with a certain uh, price, right? Because sometimes, and I, I still remember, if you go to this to these French restaurants, and 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 you and you pay about ten and or fifteen BD, and then he brings the plate and يعني طبعاً بالبحريني إحنا نقول تبينا نحلف عليها. This cannot be translated into English, sorry, يعني uh, for the non-Arabic speakers. But the thing is that uh, it, it, he he brings a very small amount of a dish. Is that and and you, you just look at your your friends on the right on the left and are you serious? And I'm paying 15 BD for that amount. 
يعني and uh, what I'm trying to say is that this is part of the customer needs, customer satisfaction, right? And uh, and 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 so having a very tasty food is not always enough. You always need to look at what the customer satisfaction. If they are looking for tasty food, that's good enough. But if they are looking for something else, you need also to look at that else thing. Okay, so uh, so mainly now for the methods and tools, they're going to be using strategic goal setting. So strategic planning, strategic goals. Strategic goals, Manata, it's not only a goal, it's a strategic goal. Uh, a goal that means I can obtain this now or I can obtain this goal, الهدف, after a year. But when you say strategic, that means there's a plan and you're putting an action, how to achieve that plan. And, and you're going to put the time, you're going to achieve that goal within one month, and this is the responsible person, and so on. And of course, if you come to the responsibility, when you talk about strategy goal now, it is the responsibility of every person. And, uh, and, and, and it's not on every department now, every person could affect the quality of uh, your product, every person within an organization. Uh, I'm, I'm going back to the hospital example, like, uh, uh, for example, just very simple one. Yani my mom, when, when she was in the hospital with my dad, she said that yani just because of one of the nurses, she didn't know what to do. And, and, and she just reflected that uh, the nurses in this hospital, I'm not naming the hospital, the, the, the nurses in this hospital, they are uh they are they are very bad that, that's that was the term said I, I tried to make make it softer but that was the term mentioned or stated uh, uh they are not at the quality level if i want to change the term well what what happened it is only one nurse <laughs> it's only one nurse so uh, but what i'm trying to say is that every person within the organization could affect the quality, could affect the quality. It could be only one laptop sold by uh, DJ Shara, for example. It's just an example. And that laptop was not working well. It will affect your perception. And then you're going to say, don't buy laptops from DJ Shara, for example. Why? Because they have, at uh, that time I bought a laptop. It was a very bad laptop. The service was blah blah the product was like that and so what i'm trying to say sometimes one person or one laptop which just one person in the organization could affect the whole quality of the system uh, so going back um, you need to consider for quality management every person within the organization great that is good enough for today uh, i think so because i'm left with five minutes and I will keep this five minutes for the questions if you have any questions. Uh, so please go ahead if you have any questions. I do have I peace. Do have please go ahead. Uh, now, like if we are doing the quality management, we are doing at the same time the quality control and quality assurance as well, right? Definitely, yes. And the inspection, we ignore it since it's like at the beginning. Uh, it's not you're ignoring it. Quality management, as you said, it includes all the uh, other stages. That means you cannot have quality management without inspection. You cannot have quality management without quality control. You cannot have quality management without quality assurance. But in addition, in quality management, you have the strategic goal. You have in mindset that you need to satisfy the customer needs. So that's what makes the quality management different. It has an addition value, which is different. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. On quality management system, talking about quality management system, the, 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 the very popular ones, if you want to read about them, uh, ISO was the most popular and still is one of the most popular. Um, and uh, other than ISO standards, uh, which are very popular. Uh, you have also the excellence models. They call them the excellence models. You have the European models, uh, the EFQM, it is called the EFQM. If you want to read also about excellence model, 
there's an American model called the Baldridge. Malcolm Baldridge. It's the name of the per an, a person who he, he used to work. He used to be in the army, and he died for a very, uh, a very noble uh, value. Uh, 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 and because of that, they named, uh, they put his name for one of the prizes, and this prize eventually became uh, a very good model for quality. Uh, uh, because many organi organizations, they start developing their quality based on the standards that was mentioned in this prize. And then eventually it became uh, one of the models that people can uh, implement in their organization. So if you want to read more about quality management system, there are many. Uh, there are other quality management systems, new ones uh, coming up for education. Uh, ISO did not succeed a lot in education, but they succeeded in many, many, many other sectors, many other sectors, a lot, a lot. Uh, and mainly ISO now became as a quality management system, uh, but uh, it's not good enough to have ISO within any organization. You need to look at a very uh, specialized organization to provide you with the specialized standards. So and if you are in the hospital, you want specialized standards for hospitals. If you are in a university, you need specialized standards for education and so on, which means that ISO now is not enough. You need also other organizations to do the quality and accreditation job. OK, any other questions? Mafia uh, Sela. Did you show the slide or upload the slide out? I upload such massa with the slide out. Sorry. And then, Basa we inshallah. Basa we upload our Mahalas and Mahalar and Shallah Hin. Basa we upload. Okay. Yeah, take home a laugh here. Okay, Mahad and the They are already uploaded, Doctor. Ah, they're already uploaded. هكو بس وفر علي أحمد يقول لك أوريدي أبلود زين علشان خاطركم بحطها في الواتساب عشان بعد إن أنت يكون عندكم إياها on hand in hand ممتاز يعطيكم العافية ما قصرتوا إن شاء الله نشوفكم يوم الأحد إن شاء الله قاعد تستمتعون بالأمثلة المختلفة I I always try to give many many different examples for many different uh, uh, aspects. Uh, most of the examples that I have given you is, is that uh, it is because that I have worked in business with most of the examples that I have given you. So even the, when I give you the example of a burger or a bottle or, uh, or the contractor, every example that I'm giving you here, I have dealt in person or in business with, with them. And uh, uh, so, so they are real life examples and not examples from my pocket. <laughs> okay, uh, so I hope that you you will gain a lot from this course. All the best, and uh, see you inshallah on Sunday. We are taking the Thank you. Yalla, thank you very much. Come on.